So we've picked up this trailer from Touratech. They've been kind enough to give it to us for the next 10 days and put it through its paces. Uh, totally unbiased review. Um, and first impressions, well, first impressions been about 500, 600 kilometers tarmac from Dubai to where we are here. We're at Wadi Aberdeen. Uh, just before the, we hit the coast and start heading towards Sur and camping beach pretty much for the next eight days, maybe ten, depending how it goes. But um, first impressions. Tar road with a bit of wadi driving right now. Toes look like a dream. It is a compact trailer, so I didn't expect it to be heavy. I didn't expect it to to really give me any hassles with, with the vehicle. Um, it's got a 40 litre fuel, uh, 40 litre water tank in it. And as you see, not exceptionally large, but perfect for a weekend getaway. Did find something a bit irritating though, is that I can't see the trailer. Now, that is not the trailer's fault by any means. I've got two fridges in the back of my, my vehicle and I've got virtually zero visibility out the back. What I would have liked is I've seen them on trailers where you have the rear, they have little extensions that stick out so that you can see the trailer. But I, I reckon for any other 4x4 vehicle that has any, any rear view capability, you're definitely going to see this tent because it is quite high up. We're going to stop here and we're going to test it for the first time, um, cook something and this idyllic spot over here. I, I absolutely love this this little wadi over here and it and the water seems to be here 365 so it's a great little stop pull out the the picnic blanket stick it out on the grass and uh, enjoy some a meal let me just show you quickly how easy this is going to be for me today I'm going to open this up and there's my kitchen now I haven't plumbed the gas uh, I'll be using my own gas burner, but just to show you how easy it would have been, I've got my water right here, my working surface, everything nice and small and compact, click it, start it and off you go. So I think a really, really great idea this. Now, most small compact adventure trailers, accessibility is always a nightmare. Now, um, this one, I found it really easy to get to where I'm going. If you were to plumb your fridge in here, you'd be able to access it from either the rear tailgate. And what I really like about this trailer is that I can get into the inside of it at any given time. Now, as you can see, I've got my fishing rods and everything packed in here right now. But if I were to access something from here with a tent on top, it's really easy. These gas, gas struts are so strong. It's actually quite a laden to get it down but exceptionally well built I'm, I'm really really impressed with the quality of this trailer we'll see how it goes I mean we're going to be doing a bit of dirt driving I think most of it's going to be soft sand so we'll see how the the wheel the wheelbase that doesn't is not really the same size as my vehicle we'll see how that performs I don't think it's going to be an issue the trailer is pretty light so First impression so far, been damn good. Another bugbear that I have with trailers though is accessibility to the rear of my vehicle. Now, with this one, once again, I think they've got it perfect. Um, I can access my vehicle, I can access the doors, I can get in without much of an effort. Um, obviously, while the trailer is still connected, you're gonna have the towage in the way, but other than that, I think whoever put this together has definitely been off-road, has definitely been on an adventure and has definitely overlanded. So I haven't found a fault yet. Let's see how we go.
we've uh, been using this trailer now for mostly tarmac, but we've started now venturing into the wadis. And as you go in and out of the wadis, you get back onto the main highway heading down south towards Sur. And you get these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little spots to stop off and have a look. And this is one of the gorgeous town behind me over here with all different colors and all the houses. But the reason why I wanted to stop and, and, and just quickly have a chat about the trailer was this has a 40 liter tank, water tank in here, but an incredibly clever um, way of managing the water tank. Now, when having a large water tank and it's half full, especially going through the rutted wadis, the water shifts from side to side to side to side. And when you get into the very tight, narrow single tracks, that water shifting at the wrong time could cause an issue. Now, this only being 40 liters shouldn't be an issue. But you can imagine with a small compact trailer like this, 40 kgs all of a sudden shifting at once, all you need to do is just move three or four inches and you could be off the track and you could have a cliff on the side. Um, what they've done here, and, I, and, and obviously I don't know the developers of this, but I can only imagine that the person that developed this tank has got some shipping experience. Now, if you watch Deadliest Catch or any of these fishing um, shows, the guys doing the crabbing have to fill up their tanks to keep the crab alive. Now, especially in a boat, in the swell, if that water suddenly shifts from one side to the other, the boat will actually capsize. Now, that exact same technology has been utilized over here. It's sectored, the actual tank is sectored, so it stops the more water from shifting from one side to the other side in an immediate fashion it basically can shift all the way across, otherwise you'd have to have four separate tank, tanks inside to be able to get the water, but it sectorizes it and then below the water can move freely. So when it moves from one point to the next, it doesn't happen all at once, which doesn't have your trailer doing something that you aren't anticipating. Extremely clever idea. So far, very well thought of. Everything that's gone into this trailer, the guys have thought about it and then developed it and then implemented it. I think the amount of, of thought that's gone into this trailer definitely has got a technical aspect and a very much specific adventure overlanding methodology. And that's what's making this trailer such a pleasure for me to tow. I am not a trailer fan. I don't like pulling trailers. It, it, to me, it's a hindrance because I cannot go places where I want to go. Making a U-turn is an effort, unhitching, hitching the trailer again. But as far as trailers go, very, 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 very impressed so far. So we've still got a number of days to go. Let's see how my mindset changes. But today, I'm a happy camper. We've been traveling from Dubai, going up and down a couple of the wadis, and heading towards the coast now. Uh, we're just past Sur, and Russell Jens, closer to Russell Hud. Uh, I think the closest town to us over here is called Dukham. Um, not 100% sure, but I think it's further south. But We've got to this plateau area and decided to come up to the cliffs and have a look at uh, what's on top and discovered, which could only be said as a ghost town, really. It looks like people started building on top of this plateau and then either decided it's way too windy or just didn't get the permission to complete building. Um, I see there Blocks are laid out over here for uh, the area or the, the property that was obviously earmarked to, to have a wall around. And in the distance, you'll see half-built houses and half-built walls. But, have a look at this. So, come have a look at this. 
We're going to be spending probably the next six or seven evenings. Uh, we've got a couple of friends coming to join us, but I think this is one of the most idyllic spots there is. Um, great little camping spot. We've camped here before. Uh, it's on the beach, pretty secluded. Uh, you, you've got a couple of fishermen, I think there's about seven or eight uh, boats um, going out every day. But other than that, pretty much nobody gets down to this beach. Now, this over here is, is protected somewhat from the wind. But in the winter months, the, the wind does blow predominantly coming towards us as we speak. So on the beach, we're going to have a lovely breeze coming from the side. Uh, the weather is pretty warm, but I'm sure you'll agree with me. That is just fantastic. So we were nice enough to be given a adventure trailer for our trip down the Yamani coast. Um, Touratech has decided to take on the marketplace. The UAE market, as far as I'm concerned, does not have enough adventure trailers for us to have the choice, uh, specifically on size. Now, there are a couple of trailers available in the UAE. For me personally, all of them are too big. I don't need a camper. I've got a purpose-built vehicle. I don't need a full-on camper. I also don't need a 13-foot or a 7-foot trailer. I need something when I am going with additional people or family coming over to visit us in Dubai and it's just to take those extra chairs, an extra tent, extra water, something that is capable to go where I want to go and spend the weekend, or the week for that matter. This is the answer. I have got a lot of positive things to say. Only one negative, only one negative, is that the wheelbase is not exactly the same as my truck. Now, can I compromise for something as little as that? For the convenience, the lightweight, the, the off-road ability of this trailer? Of course, yes sir. So, I think, one small negative point versus a heck of a lot of positive points. I'm happy. I am really, really, really happy with this trailer. We've been traveling around in and around the wadis. Um, we've spent a couple of days stagnant on the beach. So for a tourer to go from one spot from A to B, set up, leave, next day early, set up again in the evening to some, a trailer that has to be, have the ability to look after my needs, for three or four or five nights, absolutely the way to go. Um, the suspension on this is great. I don't think we see anything in the UAE market that has this, which is to me most important because we, we can go up to Sharjah, we can go to uh, Malia, we can go to a couple of the spots outside of, uh, especially on the way to Big Red, and we can go and get these trailers built and they can get built at a pretty good price. But you're stuck with leaf springs, you're stuck with a bouncing trailer, you're stuck with 
as far as I'm concerned, parts that are nowhere near as well built as this. Now, the last thing that I would want to do is stuck halfway up a mountain or stuck 700 kilometers away from home and I've got a leaf spring that's gone or I've got a trailer that I don't trust to drag an extra 700 k's back home. This here, I don't believe is going to give you that problem. Ah, I forgot to mention one more thing that I would make a change on this and obviously that would be a change for anybody traveling with whichever vehicle that you're going to be towing this with is I would change the wheel rim and the tire size to be exactly the same as my vehicle so that I don't have to carry additional spares. The tires that come with this, with this trailer, they're not BFG Goodridge, um, but they're capable. They are definitely strong enough to get you through the waddies. I would make that change if personally if I was buying it. I would put BFGs, I would change the rim, um, and then I wouldn't have any issues with that really really strong really comfortable now the accessories on this this tent man i tell you what it is so well built i am really really impressed what what normally happens with trailers like this is you would get a, tra a trailer really well built and then they just slap on any kind of horrible 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 tent in this case this tent is really, really well done. Now, we all know that they're all made in China. You get made in China and you get made in China. This is the made in China that is really, really good quality. As you all know, Orbit is an Australian brand. And I think the quality control on this, on the manufacturing plant, is to the highest level. What I really and truly love about this, it has a skylight on both sides so at night especially where we were here we were lucky enough no moon the stars have been absolutely phenomenal every single night i've been stuck in my tent on my van and have not been able to stargaze my family sleeping in here luckily enough been able to stargaze all night another great advantage of the way that this trailer has been built with the roof tent is that you can open up the trailer while the tent is on. Now, not many trailers can do that. Yes, it's pretty quick, easy. I just flip the tent, close it up, and then open up the trailer. But they thought about it. Whoever put this together has been overlanding before, have been on adventure trips, and needed that additional space. So it's just not in a slap onto the vehicle. This is an extension of my overlanding truck. And that's why I love this trailer so much. The water tank, 40 liters, again, might be a little bit small. However, it is a tiny little trailer for you to slap on when you've got one or two extra people. Now, your purpose-built vehicle should have enough water for the amount of period that you're traveling, or you should have accessibility to get additional water. This is built for you when you're going away or need to bring additional family with you. And the 40 liters that are in here is adequate. You still need the space for the additional equipment, like I said. So therefore, I believe the water, thumbs up. The kitchen that slides out the side, really good quality. The pump, had a look at it, same pump that I run in my vehicle. Not just a slap-on Chinese brand. Really good quality, not going to give you any fault. It is a bit hidden away. If you have to change the pump, it will be a bit of a mission, but I don't believe that would, would be the case. This is a really well-built well pump. The battery that they put in here is okay, right? It, 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 it fills the purpose. Once again, if I bought this, I probably would have wired it to my dual battery system, so while I'm driving, I can charge it up. We've been out with this vehicle now for better part, or this trailer for the better part of eight days. I think tomorrow will be eight or nine days. I've lost track. It's been, been a really good vacation. Um, but the battery hasn't gone flat. So we've been utilizing this battery just to run the pump for the water. We haven't run any fridges or food or anything like that. If you were to do that, hook it up to the vehicle, run your fridge in the back, and I'd put a lithium ion or a deep cycle battery, and then it can run off the extension with your solar panels in your vehicle. As it stands, eight days running this water, using this 
a kitchen system over here basically to test it. We haven't been utilizing my kitchen and my truck. I wanted to see can this stand the test of time. So we were four people traveling in my vehicle with this with additional six or seven people that joined us for a couple of nights and this is what we were using. Adequate, totally adequate for a small trailer like this. So everything all in all this is the way to go for the purpose of what I've mentioned before. Thumbs up from me.